50 people, it's a great opportunity to pack on some extra pounds. <laughs> Today, though, we're addressing taking the guesswork out of trying to lose some weight, a pair of scientific tests that could help you choose a more effective form of workout. Yeah, and they're affordable. Heather Mills is showing us how the resting and exercise VO2 test works. Well, the whole process is pretty easy. First, a machine tests your resting metabolism. That's basically how many calories you burn just being alive. And then it can test your personal fitness level, and that'll determine the best and the most efficient workout for your body. The number on the scale may be a familiar digit, but finding the numbers that go into what you weigh are very specific. Every person is different. Amanda Schmacall with Total Health and Exercise in Centennial says these tests can help determine how many calories you need to sustain your current weight, lose, or even gain weight. It takes all that guesswork out and allows us to really nail down where you should be nutritionally. First up, this is your tube. About 20 minutes of steady, slow breathing. Good low heart rate. Once that's complete, on to the more strenuous test that measures fitness level. So this is going to come all the way around your head. Okay, party people in the Get ready, 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 ready. This is going to tell us where your fat burning zone is, where your anaerobic aerobic threshold is, so where your body switches from burning fat to where it starts to burn muscle. Starting with a slow walk and working up to an incline jog. Go up now and then from there. This will be only incline. The whole thing takes less than 10 minutes. We're just gonna go for another 45 seconds. Then it's time for the results. That's wow. you all the way over here. Normal is here. You're only burning about 890 calories at rest. Which means I need to stay pretty active in order to maintain my current weight and Schmacall has just the tools. So this is your exercise test result. To help me figure out the right plan. You're in excellent shape. See, slow metabolism, but excellent cardiovascularly. <laughs> Essentially what we're seeing here is you don't have to work that hard to burn fat. In fact, the harder you work, the less fat you're burning. And it's something that can change. Metabolism is not a fixed number. If you, you know, don't get enough sleep, it can change. If you stop working out totally, it can change. If you add a ton of workouts, if you lose a ton of weight, a lot of things can manipulate your metabolism. Now armed with charts showing my ideal heart rate and even workouts to put me right into my perfect fat burning zone, Schmacall says I could see a change in just a few short months. Well, the resting and the exercise test, uh, they're about $90 a piece, $150 for both. And we've got more information posted on our website at kwgn.com. So that's really useful information, but it was sort of startling, wasn't it, to hear that it was just 890 uh, calories a day? I'm, I'm still recovering from that terrible information, but it's good information to have because if you don't know that, then it's very easy to pack on the pounds. So. Okay. Uh, Super Bowl will be a different day for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Heather. All right, still ahead and what to watch.